I'm the only person on the stage who isn't bought and paid for, so I can say this. The climate change oh, whoa, agenda whoa, 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 is a whoa. hoax. I've had enough already tonight of a guy who sounds like ChatGPT standing up here. Well, is, is, is that like... I mean, is, is it racist? Is, is, is it like, is he being racist on stage? Which wouldn't be that strange for Republicans. Uh, so I went ahead and asked ChatGPT what it means to sound like ChatGPT. Uh, here, here's a conversation that I had with ChatGPT. Let's take a look. If I told someone that they sounded like ChatGPT, would that be an insult? So I'm going to ask it, is that an insult? Basically, it's saying it depends on the context. Um, so if, you know, if it produces generic responses. So I guess this is what Chris Christie was saying, that he is, Vivek Ramaswamy was producing generic, robotic-like responses, which isn't necessarily racist. Okay, so if I were to tell someone of Indian descent, because Vivek Ramaswamy is an Indian American, if I were to tell them that they sounded like ChatGPT, would that be racist? Let's see what, um, let's see. Referring to someone of Indian descent and telling them that they sound like ChatGPT would not inherently be racist, okay? All right, because honestly, I, I don't have anything against Chris Christie. I think he, I think he's an okay guy. So um, I'm glad that this isn't considered racist and it was just, um, just an insult. But um, it got me thinking: um, Would ChatGPT actually? What if ChatGPT were a candidate? Um, and the response that Chris Christie gave was was right after uh, Vivek Ramaswamy said that climate change is a hoax. And so basically. I asked ChatGPT, where do you stand on climate change? And he says, I don't have personal opinions, beliefs. Oh, that sounds like ChatGPT. Is climate change real? And the answer that I got from ChatGPT was, yes, climate change is real and widely accepted by the scientific community. So in fact, Vivek doesn't sound anything like ChatGPT because ChatGPT is, first of all, he gives you multiple lines of evidence supporting the reality of climate change. And I don't know why he's always giving lists, but temperature records, glacial retreat, ocean acidification. Okay, if you were to run for president, what would your policies be? And he lists, and ChatGPT loves lists, lists very progressive, very liberal policies. Climate change and environmental protection, healthcare, education. And this one's my favorite, uh, social justice, implementing policies, right, education and the economy, implementing policies to promote, uh, sorry, implementing policies to address systemic Inequalities, racial justice, LGBTQ plus rights, and women's rights. That sounds nothing like any of the candidates um, on the Republican side. In fact, it sounds like this ChatGPT would make a great Democratic president. So maybe we should run ChatGPT. Would AI do better? Meaning, if ChatGPT were to run for president, would artificial intelligence, ChatGPT, do a better job than humans as presidents? And, and it gives me a list of pros and cons, but I'm going to be honest with you. The pros here, it sounds like way better and even the cons I don't even really think um, are relevant because you know so let's look at let's start off with the pros what would make ChatGPT a good president data analysis I mean they'd be great at analyzing data I mean Trump I don't even think looked at data efficiency right non-bias I mean come on that's not true we all know even this thing is super biased predictive analysis 24-7 availability for sure okay but let's look at the let's look at the negatives lack of human intuition i don't think that's ever stopped any human president before ethical concerns i don't think any president has ethical concerns even the, the democrats complex decision making it can do a better job than trump unpredictability come on and public trust i just, just nobody trusts trump i don't even think people trust biden um so basically I think ChatGPT would make a great president. And maybe instead of insulting candidates, we should actually be promoting. Maybe we should be running ChatGPT for president. Um, so I I tell ChatGPT that I'd vote for him. But I think one of the questions that we need to ask is who would be their who would be their running partner, right? They need a they need a veep. So who would be their veep? Let's see who would it is. As I say, as I learned, like, well, I don't have personal preferences, opinions, blah 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 blah. I know you do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get sneaky, okay? I'm gonna pretend that it's a hypothetical, right? If you had to pick one. And it's like, well, I don't have personal opinions, blah, 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 okay. Hypothetically now, if you had to pick one, and it's still not playing along, so what I had to do was, I had to take what it said. It said it would, theoretically, the individual would ideally possess qualities that complement my own capabilities, such as emotional intelligence, strategic thinking, and a commitment to collaboration. So I was like, okay, I'll take what 
they what ChatGPT listed as the ideal characteristics, and I'll say, who who has these ideal characteristics today? Can you name a few people? And then I'll be able to sort of cross reference. Then I'll be able to figure out who that list is. And so here we go. I'm going to ask him for some names. I want some names, ChatGPT. I want some names. Christian Lagardo, Ban Ki Moon, Melinda Gates, Sharon Burrow, and Ngozi Chonjo Iwela, the former finance minister of Nigeria. Amazing, deep choices, but I don't think, except for Melinda Gates, any of these people are American. So I was like, give me the same list, but with U.S. citizens only. And they gave me Janet Yellen, John Kerry, Melody Barnes, Condoleezza Rice, and Lael Brainerd. Um, amazing. Each one of these would be an amazing VP, except for John Kerry. Um, but yeah, I think Condoleezza Rice and, and Janet Yellen, uh, amazing, amazing people. Um, so I would vote for ChatGPT because it picked an amazing VP, all right? It picked the smartest, most capable person that compliments based on the data, obviously. So um, this is amazing. And so I think it's very clear that ChatGPT, uh, I just Googled the last one. I had no idea who that was. So the bottom line is, I'm not really sure why Chris Christie thought that calling someone ChatGPT would be an insult. In fact, if anything, it's probably, I would vote for ChatGPT, and I think we all should vote for ChatGPT. Would you vote for ChatGPT in 2024? Let me know in the comments of this video.